Hello, Washam here and welcome back to some more Umineko when they cry. Uh, well, when seagulls cry. I am way too used to my Higurashi opening. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, speaking of Higurashi, somewhat, uh, and listening to this uh, opening music while I was getting started, it really does feel quite a bit different from Higurashi. And uh, quite enjoy it though. And yeah, looked up uh, the OST on YouTube, and apparently there's something like 200 different songs. <laughs> so quite a few more. Um, if you're listening to some of them at least, I did uh, hear like one which was used in Higurashi. But yeah, it seems quite varied in any case. But yes, uh, let's get started. でも、バトラ君も子供の怪しかったが上手よ。さっきはほんの少しの間だけど、マリアとても楽しそうだった。イエス、ファンベトチューズエクスペンス。これからも今みたいに遊んであげてね。冗談は選んでだけどね。アント
そうなのかよ<笑>そんな話は知らないぜそうなんですこの人の場合はバラの方から虫を求めていっちゃうからどっちかというとたちの悪い食虫植物ってところねふん<笑>ああそういう話かよ、はい、たくローザ今日はそういう話は勘弁してくれよもうそういうのはすっかり足を洗ったんだぜ。Huh? Is he the ice push? I guess. どうかしらルドルフ兄さんは遺伝子的レベルでだらしないですし。<笑>大丈夫よ、ローザさん。あんまりおいたするバラなら、根元からちょんって切っちゃうから。ははは。物騒なお話ですねモテる男はいつもリスクと隣り合わせなんやわしも来世じゃもうちょい美形に生まれたいもんやでだから秀吉兄さんモテてなんかないって切り絵も物騒な話なんかやめろい俺のバラがしおれちまったじゃねえかほらマリアちゃん来てごらんこっちのバラは特に立派だよバラが立派<笑><笑><笑>うーんかぐわしい匂いだぜ俺のエレガントさにぴったりだなおいよせよ That's not exactly something to talk about yourself, but okay マリアが真似してトゲで怪我するだろう<笑> She ordered me as I leaned in to smell the rose's scent with an exaggerated gesture. I thought she was overreacting <laughs> when I turned around. I saw Maria imitating my every gesture as George Anarchy is smiling. And George Anarchy is smiling broadly at us. Hora, Maria, ja, kiotske te. Bara no toge wa itai yo. Ho, George Anarchy, ja. Maria pointed at a single rose. I immediately understood why she found it odd. In the midst of all these magnificent roses, one single rose was just starting to wilt. There wasn't any particular reason. Some roses flourish and others wilt. That's all there was to it. But Maria seemed very concerned about the only unhealthy one of the group. It must have made her feel lonely. Kono Baradake Genki ga nakute. Kawai so? I feel like lonely isn't the right word, but okay. Oh, Hoka wa minna Genki na no ni. Kore dake kawai so. Ma, Saitari karetari wa sore sore da karana. 一足先にしおれる代わりにそのバラは他のどのバラよりも早く開花できたんだと思うぜそうだよないっぱい咲いてその役目を終えてお休みに入ったってだけのことだと思うぜ<笑>そんなに気に病むことはねえさほう。It seemed that Maria's pure, sensitive nature was making her feel some emotional pain for the rose that wilted alone. Even though she understood the logic of it, it still felt lonely to her. Ja, Maria, ja. Kaeru made no aida. Kono bara o o sewa shite ageru to iyo. Oh? George Anaki straightened up and felt around in his pocket. Then he took out the wrapper from the candy he had been sucking on the plane. He twisted it into a thin string, then gently tied it to the rose as a sort of marker. Hey, Nanda ka kawai k u n a t a ne? Korenga, Kono bara no mejiru shida yo. Ato de, o m i z u t o k a o a g e n i k i t e go ran. Bara san mo, kitto y o r o k o b u t o omo yo. Hey, o m i z u t o k a o a g e n i k u r せっかくだからこのバラさんに何か名前をつけてあげるといいよ<笑>そうするとバラさんも喜ぶと思うしマリアちゃんと
心もきっと通い合うと思うよ名前名前おおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおお昔っから包容力があるよな尊敬するぜだな人徳ってやつだろ<笑>後で爪の赤をもらってきてやるから一緒に飲もうぜこの庭園はお前が子供の頃にもこんなに立派だったんか私が出てってからよこんなに立派になったのはうん前の庭園の方が素朴で愛着があったんだけどね兄さんがちょっと悪趣味にいじりすぎたのよ<笑>前の方がずっと良かったんだからあはエヴァポジティブシンキングやで昔は置いといて今のこの美しさをめでなあかんその方が心が安らかになるで別にそんな意味じゃんただ私は昔の方が素敵だった庭園をあなたにも見てほしかったなってだけよ<笑>それでは皆様よろしいでしょうかそろそろお部屋の方にご案内いたしますゴーダさん called everyone to ask if we were ready but our hearts had been completely stolen away by the rose garden but none of us had seen for a year so he didn't pay much attention to him <laughs> oof, poor him since we weren't a travel group it wasn't like we had a strict schedule to follow besides, since our parents were visiting their old home full of nostalgia it wasn't like they had to let themselves be urged on by anyone or anything understanding the situation Godson continued to wait, smiling widely, until our parents got tired of the roses and told him to guide us to our rooms. Well? Huh? Oi! Canon Kun Yanarika! Sashiburiana! Genkika! First thing that popped to my mind is for camera brand.、Um, <laughs> Uncle Hideyoshi suddenly shouted. Oh, who's this? In the direction he was waving was a slender boy. Meeting him right after a huge man like Gorda probably emphasized his small stature. The boy was in the middle of transporting powered up gardening tools with the like in a wheelbarrow. When he realized he was being called to stop, he set down the wheelbarrow, took off his hat, and bowed his head. <sighs> I figured he was probably no- younger than me. And I realized by the general atmosphere surrounding him that he was another servant. He greeted us in response to Uncle Hideyoshi's call, but he seemed like he might be pretty unsociable most of the time. It was a greeting that lacked feeling. <laughs> When Godasan noticed that our interest had shifted towards him, he went to the boy's side and introduced him to us. Batora sama, go show kai t a s h i m a s 後ろ宮本家にお仕えしております使用人の一人です。カノンさん、お客様にご挨拶を。はじめまして、使用人のカノンです。Yep, my first impression wasn't wrong. He seemed to be unsociable, or at least not so good at talking. Compared to Gorda-san, who was extraordinarily polished as a servant, you couldn't help but feel an inexperience typical of his age. And Godasan urged him in a whisper to give a bit more of an introduction. The boy named Kanon only cast his eyes downwards. Kanon san, more than a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a l i t t l h a He didn't seem to be refusing to greet us out of spite. Rather, he seemed to have fallen silent because he didn't know what else to say to us in greeting. So, one thing I've noticed is that、um, that kind of motif with the golden with the feathers 
it seems to be used by the Ishiro Mia family. So at least, um, uh, what are their names? Uh, yeah, Eva, it's got tattoo and it's also on the clothes. Rudolph has it there and also on his, um, pants. And Teresa also has it, but none of the others. Okay, for a second I thought, okay, maybe she does have it, but no, I think that is just part of this background stuff, and okay, maybe the children do as well, yep, they all have it, but for ones that aren't directly part of a family, don't seem to have it, except from Canon. Um, my first thought was, uh, I found this duty silently and diligently, but it's not so highly regarded as a servant due to his unsearchable nature. Multiple other servants of the own character in their pseudonyms. Pseudonyms? He and Channon just happened to be ones on duty that day. Huh. So that isn't his real name, so maybe God isn't his real name either. Maybe it isn't Kumasawa either? Um, but yeah, but the fact that he's using it, maybe he is part of the family? In secret? I mean, if that is the case, who would know? Maybe Jessica, if she lives in the main house? I saw a little bit of a even though he wasn't exactly giving a terrible first impression, Jessica hurriedly backed him up. I see. Apparently his unsociable nature causes him trouble a lot. And yeah, if he is um, a secret child of someone, um, I mean, if it was, it would either be this couple or this one. And I'm guessing these two are, like, spouses? Maybe this is just someone else entirely. But in any case, from the red lines, this top one seems to be uh, the house head. And if he is a secret child that's living in the main house, it's either going to be this couple or the house head's child. Okay, rather than couple, probably the father, <laughs> if they're keeping it secret. And if that's the case, maybe that's why he's unsociable. I don't know. It's just that so one detail. And I could be completely wrong. He fell silent, as though wondering whether or not it was a question he'd have to answer. But here again, Jessica ploughed ahead. Why? Hmm. Hmm. Hi. So this. Okay, that last part did feel like she was covering for him. It would have. It looked like he would have preferred not to tell us his age if given the choice. That was probably because he thought we'd look down on him for it. I remember that when I was around his age. I hated being asked how old I was by adults. Okay, but if it, he is the child, why would they go out of a way to give him. Like, why would he wear that symbol if it would just give him away? Was being a secret. Anyway, I see he's 16, huh? Did I read that last one? I hated being asked how old. I remember that when I was around his age, I hated being asked how old I was by adults. I see, 16, huh? That's gotta be a delicate time. Which means I probably asked something I shouldn't have. Hehehehe, <laughs> <laughs> Jessica looked panicky for some reason. 
She seemed to think my impression of Cameron was getting worse because of his refusal. Oh, as a girl, Jessica probably couldn't understand the fretful male heart at this age. As a soldier, even by just two years, I took it upon myself to be understanding of that. I'm sorry, that sounded so pretentious in my mind. I, um... カノンさん、もう少し愛想よくはできませんか。笑顔も使用人の義務ですよ。申し訳ありません。努力します。ゴーダさん、カノン君もいろいろ頑張ってるんですよ。ねえ。<笑> Not like he was often warned about being unsociable. And apparently he hadn't improved one bit. Godasan kept his business smile, but let a small sigh of resignation escape. Sore de Amada Shigoto Garimas Node. Sireshimas. Looked like Canon himself was uncomfortable with remaining silent here any longer. After another perfunctory bow, he turned around and started pushing the wheelbarrow again. Just then. Wheelbarrow suddenly wobbled and fell, scattering the load. What was in the wheelbarrow anyway? Did they mention it? If they did, I forgot. <laughs> I guess the wheelbarrow's single wheel got caught on a pebble and lost its balance. Got a son urged him to hurry in a quiet voice, as though hinting that it was shameful for a servant to appear clumsy in front of guests. Canon Kun wordlessly reloaded the wheelbarrow with the fallen objects, as if to say that he understood quite well without being told. He seemed to be fine with the light looking gardening tools, shovels, and such, but he looked like he was having trouble getting his arms around and lifting up some sacks of fertilizer. With a smooth motion, Gerda took the shovel that Jessica had picked up. Behind him, Canon Kun was having trouble with the sacks of fertilizer. I wonder if he's the one that's in charge of maintaining the rose gardens. If he's handling the gardening tools. And uh, the garden only got more impressive sometime in the last three years, or well, six years. And he arrived halfway through. And it's been uh, at least. One year. Oh, um, because they were saying that it was more impressive the previous year. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it's a mixture. Or all the servants. Or maybe some of the um house members in their spare time. Sorenio restaurant I lifted up the other bags that had fallen. Of course, they weren't light, but for me it was a piece of cake. Canon Kun looked at me, surprised. It was the face of someone who'd never would have expected to receive help from a guest. <laughs> Since Canon Kun looked like he hadn't yet gone through his growth spurt, he was stuck with a sort of weak body. This kind of weight might have been too much for him. <laughs> Does look like he's wearing at least relatively expensive clothing. Yeah, I suppose Battle is also wearing like a vest underneath his jacket. これで、さっきの船の分はチャラだよな。ふ。この程度のことじゃ、さっきの大騒ぎが超消しになるもんかよ。カノン君にも後で教えてやるよ。バトだったら面白いんだぜ。<laughs> yeah, gotta say, um, Battler, bringing it up is your fault. 
Oh uh, dear. I faded this. I powered all the stuff back into the wheelbarrow. Letting the guests, who are supposed to feel welcome, see such a disgraceful thing. It must have been hideously embarrassing for a servant. Pressed by Gorda to hurry up and go, Canon Kun left. Without even a twitch in a smile, Godasan apologized elegantly. もったいないわ。気難しい年頃さ。さっとしといてやれよ。主要人は寡黙なくらいがちょうどいいさ。な、熊沢さん。おお、オッケー、アイ<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> oh, okay, get it now. He was very much um meaning that not so much um Maybe not. Maybe it is his true thoughts, but I feel like mostly it's a um, a jab at Kamisawa <laughs> for being so talkative. <laughs> Everyone smiled wryly at that obvious lie. Even she herself didn't believe that. Not in her wildest dreams. <laughs> so she must have said it to lighten the mood. Yeah, that's the kind of character Kamasawa Bachan used to be. The once stiff atmosphere had cleared up at once thanks to her cheerful smile. Soro Soro Nimoto Kitaiwane Goda san, Heavari wa dona tere no kashira. Sakunen to onaji ni natte orimasu. Sa, go an nai itashimasu. Um, not exactly because obviously Battle of Eyes of Rain. That he didn't have last year. We headed towards a trim, elegantly simple guest house. This was going to be our temporary quarters for the night. Canon watched over a hedge as the guests all entered the guest house. Then he let his eyes fall on those heavy sacks of fertilizer piled up in the wheelbarrow. In his mind, he kept going over the previous mistake, his previous mistake. Battler, big and strong, had picked up the sacks in front of them. The sacks Canon couldn't lift himself, as if they were feathers. It would be extremely difficult for an outside observer to guess what emotions that favour had stirred up within Canon, wink wink nudge nudge. But as far as you could tell by watching him hang his head, it was nothing, something that he just couldn't let go of. Muttered words escaped his lips. But those words, he murmured, were so soft that they didn't reach even his own ears. I'm 50-50 on those words being extremely disturbing, and creepy, kind of scary way. <laughs> I guess not. Uh, Canon hung his head, slightly biting his lower lip. バラの庭園は記憶にあったんだけどよ。このゲストハウスっつうのは記憶にねえな。これ建てたのは最近か？うん。トライアン。フィシュスリフィート。オスフィシュンのゲートポストライクティング。でつんせ、エブワンコールア
the guest house or if potentially it's to keep everyone else out of the main house for some reason. But in any case, um, that's time for the end of the episode. I will just go through all the um, like characters and tips and everything. I uh, feel like maybe I'll make a try to make a habit of doing this at the end of each part. Um, I'm particularly going for anything which is new, which I haven't covered yet, and just going over the others in case you notice something different. So, that one we've done. Seven Tired is a cook. He hasn't served his family long, but through his earlier jobs and previous experiences, he has cultivated in Thailand him for entertaining guests. Because of this, he is very highly regarded as a servant and canon. Young servant so it performs his duties silently and diligently. It's not so highly regarded as a servant due to his unsociable nature. And I talked about that lower part earlier. If you go to tips, still no tips. In any case, I will be ending it here for today. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know any feedback you have in the comments. And until next time, see ya.